एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू पेप कोडिंग आई होप यू ऑल आर गुड सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू वन मोर क्वेश्चन एंड आर क्वेश्चन इज वर्ड के लेंथ वर्ड्स टू सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वी हैव गिवन अ वर्ड एंड द करेक्टर्स प्रेजेंट इन दैट वर्ड दे कैन रिपीट देअर सेल्फ दैट मीन्स डुप्लीकेसी में अक्कर इन आर वर्ड राइट इन सेकेंड लाइन वट हैज गिवन टू अस यू आर गिवन एन इन टीचर के सो वी हैव गिवन वन इन टीचर वी हैव गिवन वन वेरिएबल ऑफ इन टीचर टाइप दैट इज के Now coming to the third line, you are required to generate and print all the length words of distinct character by using characters of the word. Okay, so what we have to do? We have given value of k that is two. So we have to uh, print that word. That means we have to select two characters from my word. If my value of k is two, I have to select two distinct characters from my word. And after that, I have to print or generate all the possibilities. by which i can select my word okay so let's try to do that question so let me remind you okay so before reminding you let me tell you what is my question so this is my question and if my case value is 2 so what has given to me first of all i have to remove duplicate it will become abc now i have to generate all the possible ways by which i can make Uh, sorry see the length of my word is 3 and k is 2 now i have to select two distinct characters from my word that is abc and i have to print all the possibilities by which i can select two distinct characters from my this word right from my this word of length 3 so let's try to do it first of all if i am selecting a so i can also select b b can come here if i am selecting a b can come here if i am selecting b c can come here now if i am selecting b here a can come here if b here a can come here if a here c can come here right so these all are the possible ways by which i can select two words out uh, two characters from this word okay so these all are the possibilities that means i am finding permutation right 3 p2 so how many cases are possible in this case 3 to 2 into 6 okay so we can have three possibilities c are we getting this yes so this by using this method i am selecting two distinct characters from my given word and i am generating all the possibilities by which i can generate the, these words okay so let's try to understand it with then previous example which i was trying to remind you we have done one we have done one question of this permutation where i have taken three boxes and two distinct characters right that is one and two so what i was doing in that case keep it to that means i have to select two distinct characters from three boxes so how many cases how many possibilities i have six how six see if i can place my first distinct uh, sorry i can use what item here if i am selecting uh, i am placing my item one here i can place my item two here If I am placing my item one here, two here. If I am placing my item two here, uh, item one here, then two will come here. Okay, now coming here, two, one, two, one, two, one. So these all are the possibilities, right? So keep one thing in your mind. Here, I have three boxes, right, and two items. Box one, box two, box three. These are my boxes. Box one. box 2 box 3 and two items that is 1 and 2 okay so keep this thing in your mind and if i talk about my this thing sorry next okay so if i i talk about this a is 2 so what i was doing what possibilities i have got a b a b b dash a b c a okay so i have these possibilities here i have slots and characters 
slots i am writing it here i have slots and characters how many characters i have a b c 3 and how many slots i have uh two okay slots me which i uh, on which i am putting my two characters so i have two like this i have two items here so i have two slots here right where i have to put my two characters so here i am treating i am not treating my slots as boxes right i am not treating my slots as boxes here i am treating my slots as item here so keep this thing in your mind okay so let's try to draw tree of our this case first then we will try to draw tree of our given question okay so how can we draw tree now okay so three boxes two distinct items one and two one can come here to one two sorry space two one okay i'm going to draw three of this problem two one two one one two okay so what i can do in this case see so first of all here this is for my item number one item number one so i can place my item number one here here and also here now coming to coming to level number two for my item number two that is two i have how many choices now two choices either my two can come here or two can come here if i talk about this again i have two choices to place my two how many choices i have two either it can come here or come here if i talk about this my two can come here and also my two can come here okay so how many answer i have got one two three four five six okay see are we getting right answer one two one two yes uh okay two one dash dash yes we are getting correct answer so this is how we were we were drawing the tree now coming to our problem see so what i am going to do here this is for my slot number one slot number two and I have how many choices here? I have two slots. Now, and how many I, uh, characters I have? A, B, C. So, A can come here. Okay, this spell, space will remain empty. If B is coming, this space will remain empty. If C is coming, this space will remain empty. Now, th at this place, how many choices I have? How many choices I have? For B and C, for A and C, for uh, b a for a and b okay so if b is coming it will become a b a c b a b c c a and c b so this is how we are getting our answer okay so let's move to the code part now i hope you have understood till now you can see here we are getting word of Two characters which I, I was needed that is the requirement of our question because case value is 2 and our characters present in our word is 3 that is ABC and these characters are without duplicacy okay so I, I hope you have understood the concept till now let's move to the code part okay so coming here before writing base case I am going to write one loop which will traverse all the characters of my word from I0 to i uh, before doing that see here i have one string and the input of string we are taking input of string from user and this is value of k now i am checking here i am checking if my character is already uh, already present if it is present i am not going to present it, it it again in my set to remove duplicacy right if it is not present i am going to insert that in my set so that is all about this code now coming here i am going to traverse all my unique string okay after that i'm going to increment it now what i'm going to do i'm going to do fetch my character from ustr i then what i have to do here if what i will do here 
I will check is my character already present in my set. If uh, I will go till end, use dot end. Okay. So I will find is my character already present. I will find it till my end. Okay. So if it is, if it is not present, I am going to insert that character. Okay. And I also have to remove that character. I am going to use erase here. But in in between insertion and deletion, I have to call this function also. Why? You already knew that. I have already explained you that with the help of tree. So current slot will become current slot plus one, and total slot will remain as it is. Uh, what is USTR? Do you remember? What is USTR? Unique string. It will also remain as it is. Then answer so far plus USTR that is our unique string dot at i. Okay, the character present in that position. That means if A has occupied this, so A will get. If A is going, if A is about to come, so I will let A. Similarly for B and similarly for C. Now coming here, if current load is equals to total slots, then I just need to print my answer so far. Because I have to print permutation, all the possible permutations and simply return. So let's try to run this code now. So we are getting compilation error. So we have to check our code. You can see I am taking my used set here. Okay. So I have already explained you the concept of set. It is I am using it to remove duplicacy. Before adding my character in my set, I, I need to check that. If it is not present, then I will add that character. Otherwise, I will not add that character. So let's try to use size function instead of using length function here. Again, I am getting compilation error. So I have done mistake at line number 47. Okay. Okay. So I haven't passed my used function, used variable here. Right. So let's try to run this code now. So we are getting, uh, we are getting wrong answer. Why it is so? So don't worry. This question, uh, this code is right. But in this editor here, the test cases are according to Java. Okay. Internally, the test cases which we have passed that that is according to Java. That is not according to C++, right? So try, uh, try to go. So try to go at here, editor. Go and run our code here. This will definitely work. So thank you so much. That's all about this video.